What is going on guys and welcome back to another video. Now a lot of people don't know but there are a lot of really good opportunities for advertising some really good offers on Bing ads or Microsoft ads as they're called right now and in this video I'm going to show you how you can do that step by step and I'm also going to tell you which offers you should advertise and which offers you shouldn't really advertise. And so advertising on Bing ads or Microsoft ads is a special technique. You cannot really advertise all offers on it, right? What you want to be looking at is here I am on my Max Bounty uh, search campaign screen. And what you want to do is you want to click the search options, right? So it opens up more uh, fields that you can, you can uh, click on and kind of choose. And what I have here is mobile optimize and my approved offers. I also picked uh, dollar per lead because that keeps things uh, simplified. Uh, I don't get a percentage or anything like that. And here I have everything chosen just to keep things very, very simple. And so what I'm looking for is I'm looking for offers that are primarily over uh, 40, at least $40 bounty, right? I don't want to advertise offers that are $2 bounty. So this pretty much rules out things like sweepstakes, surveys, email submits, uh, and, and a lot of these other ones, right? So we cannot do sweepstakes, surveys, zip submits. Uh, we cannot do email submits. We cannot do any of these kind of uh, low bounty offers, right? This is not a method for that. And what I really like is for Max Bounty, I really, really like this e-commerce category. I think a lot of people don't really use it. And that's pretty unfortunate because there's a lot of really, really good offers. And so once I pick this category, you see the CPA rate is pretty much they're all, you know, they're all like above a certain amount. So if I, if I you know, browse a couple, you will see that they're, they're pretty high up there. Now, of course, you're going to see some really low bounty offers here and there, but they're going to be in the minority, right? The majority of the offers are going to be nice, nice, really like with, with a decent bounty. We have $120 per lead, $112 per lead. And that's kind of what you want because, um, you know, Bing ads and Microsoft ads, this is search marketing, right? This is pay per click and you're going to be bidding on keywords. And so if you're going to be bidding a dollar per click or $2 per click or, you know, dollar 50 per click you cannot afford to run an offer that pays you two dollars per bounty it's just not uh, that kind of offer it just doesn't really fit this method and so what you want to be looking at is offers that pay at least 40 dollars even 30 dollars is fine but you know the more the better right the more the better the faster you get into profitability and you know it's just it just makes a lot more sense and the more money you're gonna make and so when I do search marketing, right, when I do things on Bing ads, Google ads, things like that, I'm basically looking for products. The best products are typically, you know, physical products do really well. Another kind of product is maybe a membership site to, you know, a place that gives you templates or something like that. Uh, but typically physical products look really well. And so I was browsing around and I found this offer for this cold sleep pillow. This is a very simple product. They even tell you that search is all good. Sometimes they tell you that you cannot bid on certain keywords. So they might tell you like you cannot build on, bid on cold sleep pillows. Sometimes they do that. And the reason they do that is they don't want competition. They don't want you to bidding on keywords that uh, maybe they're, they're also buying. So that really drives the price up. And so they don't want that. And so this is something you kind of have to keep in mind. Okay. And so we are here, we have 44 per lead, and this is an offer we can try uh, promoting on Bing ads. And another advantage of Bing ads is, you know, they're relatively like easy going. They're, uh, they're a lot less strict than Facebook, than Google ads, than Quora ads. So you can, you can do a lot of cases, even direct linking. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Most of the time it does work, at least right now. And so what you wanna do is you wanna build a tracking link. We're gonna pick search. We're going to pick raw link. And now we have a link that we can promote. Now, I do recommend that you at least have a custom domain. So in other words, you go on somewhere like namecheap.com, purchase a domain for, you know, 10 bucks a year or five bucks a year. And then basically, you know, redirect, use that domain and then redirect to this link. I just don't really like using these links anywhere. You're free to do what you want. That's just kind of my personal opinion. I just really like kind of uh, you know, have a more professional link, but that's, that, that's really up to you. And so we have here a network EPC is 44 cents, which is pretty decent countries allowed pretty much the whole world. They don't really care, right? Because people are paying money for this. This is not a, um, it's not uh, like, like a survey or something like that, where they're looking for 
uh, the leads, right? The, the quality of the leads. And so what we're looking here is uh, we need to go to our Bing ad screen. And once you're in Bing ads, you basically, you know, you could just Google for Bing ads or Microsoft ads. Then you're going to be in this campaign. You have to, you know, set up an account, maybe enter your credit card just to keep it there. You can also look for uh, various promo codes. They're all over the Internet. I think I, I started out with a hundred dollar promo code when I got going. And so what you have to do is you have to click on campaigns. Once you do that, you're going to see this screen and you need to pick here campaigns and then you click here on create campaign. OK, and we're going to do that here. You pick visits to my website. And you enter a name for the campaign so we can just call this, you know, C1 uh, for the budget. We can start with ten dollars per day. That's fine. We can just see how it goes. Where do you want your ads to appear? Now, me personally, when I start out, I typically start with the United States because if the product is going to sell, it's going to sell in the United States. I don't choose another country because the United States, you know, there's it's a fairly rich country and, and things, you know, they, they usually convert very well. So let's let me pick a specific region. We type United States here and we click enter and then it's going to pop up with United States country region. We pick that and now we have United States. And so who should see your ads? People in your targeted locations or people searching for or viewing pages. So we only want people in your targeted locations. You have to unselect the second options. Uh, English as the language because this is an ad for the English market, English speaking market. So we save and go to the next step. And here is we're working with our ad groups, right? And an ad group is basically a way to group keywords together. And the reason you want to grab keyword, uh, you know, collect keywords together is because it's going to help you basically uh, it's going to help you create the right targeting for the landing pages. And so you can basically have, you know, several keywords that explain a certain benefit that's going to be linked to one landing page, then another group of keywords to another landing page. And that's kind of the strategy I recommend. Now, for this purpose of this video, just to keep things very, very simple. Uh, we're going to create just one ad group and we're just going to roll with that. And so you want to enter your website. You can you can pick something like my website is not ready. That's fine. But uh, this is going to be the link to your, you know, to your landing page. And, you know, you might have a rolling from Max Bounty. You might have a custom domain. Maybe you're going to have a landing page, which is another option I do recommend. And then we have the ad group one. We can just call it AG one. And now you have the keywords. And so when you're doing this is this is where you need to do a little bit of brainstorming. OK, uh, we are doing. So what I would like to do is basically I have cold sleep pillow. This is the name of this offer here. And I like to start brainstorming. So what I do is I enter these terms into Google and I see what comes up. And so right away I have cooling pillows. OK, that's another term. I have cold pillows for sleeping. This is an Amazon category and I can actually open this category right and see what other words are used to describe, uh, you know, this this category, right? So for instance, we have we have cold pillows for sleeping. OK, so this is something we can use. We copy and paste that. And uh, I basically copy it in my scratch pad here that I'm going to, you know, use later on. And so I have that. I go back to my Google search screen pillow that stays cold. And now we also have people also search for ice pillow. Uh, nest bedding, cold pillow, Walmart. So what I really like here is I like cold sleep pillow. We're going to use that. And you see, if I click here, I see other suggestion cooling pillow. That's another one. We're going to put that here. Cooling pillow. Cooling pillow is a good one. Uh, coldest pillow, right? Coldest pillow is another one. Coldest pillow. Best sleep whale bamboo pillow. So I don't know what that is. And I don't know if it's actually, uh, you know, re related to what we're doing. So we're going to leave it at that. Cooling pillows, top rated pillows for hot sleepers, right? So we can do that. Pillows for hot sleepers. OK, that's another option. And we have what do we have? Regular pillow that keeps you cool. So we have cold pillows for sleeping. We have cold sleep pillow, cooling pillow, coldest pillow, pillows for hot sleepers. Uh, pillow and then you can kind of brainstorm right pillow uh, for let's see pillow pillow to sleep better right something like that and we could have you know pillow to improve sleep right which is kind of similar and we can fix this uh, font here 
Let's do that real quick because it's showing up. So now we have a couple of keywords. Uh, typically, you want to do a little bit more brainstorming because the more keywords you have, the, the better it is. So we have gel pillow for sleeping cool while a pillow sleeping on a cold field fabric. Temperature regulating pillow, something like that. That, that could be an option, right? Uh, what else do we have? Maybe we go to the second page. Cooling pillow, cool pillow, cooling pillow, work best cooling pillow. Always cold pillow, helix. It's literally cool. Modern sleep, sleeping pillow. Best cooling pillow, cold pillow. Sleep whale, bamboo pillow. So this could be, this is interesting, right? What is this right here? Bamboo. So this is something else. This is another product, I think. Miracle pillow. Uh, what is the best cooling pillow? We have some uh, Z shredded, classic brands. Ventilated. How about something like, no, well, we can't really use ventilated because it's not, it's not ventilated. It's just a cold, it's just a cold pillow. Okay, Co sleep, sleep pillow. And then you can do something like, you know, sleep better. You can do, you can, you can do kind of more general keywords, right? Sleep better, improve my sleep. Uh, things like that, right? So now that we have some keywords that we have, what we need to do is we need to create different um, keyword phrase matches, right? And so the way this works when it comes to search marketing is that you can have a broad match. And that's basically when I type something like this. So if I type sleep pillow, that's a broad phrase. Okay, I am not, I don't really care. And all the, all the like in the search results, basically any page is going to show that has these phrases somewhere in the page. Okay, another one is a phrase match. If I put quotes around it, then it only only things are going to match the pages, the titles, the actual content, if they're together, right? That's a phrase match. So anything can come before it, anything can come after it, but they need to be together. That needs to match. And finally, there's something called an exact match. And basically, I'm only looking for, well, ads. In this case, it's going to be ads that have only these two keywords, okay? And when it comes to doing search marketing, right, the method that I really like is I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you a special tool that helps me kind of build these keywords. And this special tool is called AdWords Match Type Tool, okay? So you basically go into Bing or Google and you type AdWords Match Type Tool, okay? Very, very simple. And you're going to get a lot of results and they're all kind of work. But what I really like is this keyword toaster, right? Keywords toaster. And if you click on that, you're going to see why I like it. And so you can input the keywords. You can put your modifier here and then you're going to get a result of keywords that you can use. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose all these keywords that I have here. I'm going to paste them here. And now I have a bunch of keywords. And what I want to do is I want to do something like a broad mod modified and I want to do an exact match. That's all. That's the only thing I want to do. So I have, let's see, I have, uh, yeah, I have broad modified and I have basically the, uh, the exact match here. I don't want to do phrase match. I don't want to do any of that. So I have broad modified and exact match. And so what broad modified does is that it's basically, it, it creates, it puts these plus signs before the actual word. And what that really does is it basically tells Google, hey, Google, uh, you're free to show my ad whenever these words appear in the ad. So they must, these two words need to appear, but there could be something else also, right? But exact match basically does it so that only, you know, only those two. So if somebody's searching for cold sleep pillow, I want my ad to appear. But I also wanted to appear something, you know, for a search phrase, something like, where can I buy a cold sleep pillow? And that's what this uh, broad modified match is going to do. So I personally like broad modified and exact. I mean, there's a lot of ways of going about it. You can also experiment with phrase match. I just like these two. And that really creates a kind of two groups of keywords, right? I have these broad modified here and I have these exact match keywords here. And so now I have I have a list of keywords that I can use. So I can I can save that. I can keep it here and then I can go back to my campaign and start doing it. So I can basically copy and paste. I can copy and paste my keywords. I can put them here. And now, you know, Bing is going to know that it's it, it needs to display my ad whenever either, you know, people are typing a long phrase that has my keywords in it in the same order 
or when people are exactly matching for it. So I want both. Ideally, you know, you want exact match because you don't want to match for completely unrelated keywords. But if you do that, you're going to miss out on a lot of other opportunities because the exact match searches are, you know, they're, they're relatively low in volume compared to these broad match searches. And that is very, very important to keep in mind. So this way, I kind of have the best of both worlds because I have, you know, I'm matching for the exact matches. I'm basically getting my ad to show up when there is exact, exact searches. And I'm also, uh, I'm also kind of doing a little bit of flexibility. I'm telling uh, Bing, Bing in this case, it could also be Google, that, hey, show my ad whenever people are searching for any kind of phrase as long as my keywords show up in this particular order. So this is really good. And so I can basically save it. So the thing about um, these, these platforms like Bing or Google is they basically give you ideas, right? You can create new ad groups, right? So even though, you know, we did a little bit of brainstorming, you know, obviously they have a lot more data, right? They're indexing the whole internet. And so they understand relationships. So basically they're suggesting pillow ad group, cooling pillows, bed pillow, sleep pillow, pillow side sleeper. So you have a lot of really cool. And you're also monthly average cost per click. So you have some keywords that are, you know, on average are going to cost you $1.23, $1.28, $1.85. Ikea pillows, you know, you probably don't want to do Ikea pillows because if somebody is searching for an Ikea pillow, they want an Ikea pillow, they don't want a, uh, you know, whatever, whatever this cold sleep pillow, right, like a generic pillow or something like that, they want something like that, so you got to be careful with these, uh, with these kind of searches, they're called branded searches, so you have to be careful with that, we have natural sleep remedies, all of these are, are very, very good suggestions, and there are 68 of them, right, and so you can kind of cycle, you can add them, and so for the purpose of this video, we're going to keep it nice and simple. We're going to go save and go to the next step. And now we can create the ad. And the ad is something that's going to show up. So whenever you are here, I'm in Google, right? So whenever I type something, let's say I do sleep pillow, just a, you know, a broad search, I basically, I should see some ads. So in this case, I don't see ads. I do see ads. These are shopping ads, but you know, we're not doing shopping ads. We're doing regular ads. If I do something like, you know, uh, let's see, buy sleep pill or something like that. Let's see if that shows up over that. Okay, so now we have a lot of ads. When I type buy, that's actually a buying keyword, and that's what triggers these ads. And so we have four ads at the top, and we have, do we have any at the bottom? We don't have anything on the bottom, but that's fine because uh, it's, still, it's still four ads, right? And these are ads, right? And this is the kind of ad we're going to be creating. This is a search marketing ad, pay-per-click ad. And so we go back and this is where we have to basically create the ad and we have various extensions that we can use and a site link extension. It, these are kind of extra features that they provide. So I don't want to talk about them too much because it's going to take a lot of time. But basically a site link extension is whenever there's like links here, these are all basically like site link extensions, right? You know, they basically, they're, they're little links inside the ad that redirect you to a certain uh, part of the page. And there's also all kinds of extensions. There's, you know, there's price extensions. They basically list the price. So if there is a price, so here you go from 59 pounds. This is a price link extension. And if we scroll down, yeah, they don't have any price. And so this one actually has it uh, discount up to 30%. That's right in the ad. So that is something different. But a price link extension basically shows up inside the ad. So that is, you know, that is going to take some time to explain. I'm going to keep it nice and nice and simple. You don't need to know this stuff in order to be successful, but it's a nice little thing that they provide. So we're going to create our ad here. And then we basically type the ad. We have the final URL. This is the URL of the website. And that is why I kind of like, you know, if you go, if you go to Max Bounty, you can, of course, copy and paste this. Theoretically, you can use Bitly as a shortener uh, for that. That's going to be better. But, you know, you have to admit that this just doesn't look very nice, right? This is what the ad is going to look like, mb103.com. And so I cannot recommend you doing it. I mean, obviously the option, the choice is up to you, but I cannot recommend that. You might not even get approved if you have this link because, um, you know, it just doesn't look very, very professional. And people are just not going to click on it as much. And so here you have title part one, you have 30 characters, and you can basically go back to the offer and you can look at their landing page, right? So if we, uh, if we load their landing page, you can have a better idea of what to basically uh, put on the ad because they basically, you know, they tested this landing page a lot. And so they're they're saying gel memory foam that will improve your sleep quality uh, inside. You know, they have all these things. 
Uh, so yeah, it's a very, very simple landing page actually. Discount was applied, there's uh, offer as well. It's a very, very simple landing page. So it's definitely not the best landing page I've ever seen, but um, you know, it, it is what it is. You can, you're free to create your own landing page if you'd like and link it to this offer or uh, link it you know, somewhere else if they allow it, but you know, it's a very, very basic. There are better landing pages and I'm gonna show you later in the video some of these other offers that you can run. But for the purpose of this tutorial, uh, we're gonna use what we have here. And so what do we have? We have, we have some, uh, they're basically telling us, uh, they're basically, let's open up this landing page real quick and see, okay, so here's the landing page. And they're listing a bunch of benefits here. Per, it fits perfectly. And so what do we wanna enter, right? And this is where you kinda have to think, freshly delivered flowers, save 10% free delivery, a bunch of benefits, and this is, sleep better or something we can say something like um, foam gel what does it say it says gel memory foam pillow we can use that gem memory foam uh, will Im improve your sleep improve your sleep uh, feel better feel better entire day the entire day something like that and that's it we have we have the name of the product we have two benefits that's gonna work Add text one, and this is below the text, right? And something, so what do we have? Um, you know, suffering from poor sleep. Check out our, check out, you need a, I don't know, you need a, you know, you need a memory, you need a cold pillow. A cold pill, our cold pillow will help out, will help out, something like that. And then you have more text, right? An additional text. Um, you know, everybody, everybody, everyone loves, loves our cold, our cold pillow. So that's kind of what you want. You have the mobile URL here. Don't really have to worry about that. Uh, and then you have add URL options here. You have some more options. We don't really need, so we saved this and now we have one ad. Okay. We have this one ad and you can, obviously the ad group can contain multiple ads. It can contain multiple uh, it can, it should contain kind of um, the same, you know, the same uh, keywords, but it can contain multiple ads and then it has one landing page. So the way you should think about an ad group is that it corresponds, one ad group has multiple keywords, multiple ads that correspond to one landing page. That's the way to think about it. And another way to think about it is that you're listing certain benefits. You're listing certain benefits that you, you want to portray, you want to create an angle, you want to cre create an ad of certain benefits that's gonna work with, um, you know, with this specific product. So we're not gonna do any extensions right now. There's a bunch of other extensions. We're gonna basically save and go to the next step here. And now we can basically save a budget. We're gonna have a $10 per day campaign budget. You might wanna have something, I mean, if we're selling, you know, $40 product, you're, you know, if you're getting basically a $40, what is our payout, 44 per lead, then you want to spend at least $44 just to see if it's worth it. You cannot spend, you know, $10 or $20 and if you don't have any sale, it's not going to work. You haven't spent, you need to spend the amount or maybe I'll go a little bit over it, maybe spend $50 and then you have one sale and then you know that, okay, you have a sale or maybe you'll have two sales. But if you spend $50, $60 and you don't have a sale, you have to move on and you have to try something else. It's just not working. So don't spend just $10. If you have $10 per day budget, that means you have to do it like four to five days just to get enough data to see if you can sell it, okay? So keep that in mind. Our bidding strategy is adjust my bid. We're gonna do manual bid just to keep things very, very simple. We have the ad group. We can set a budget for the ad group. You know, we have one ad group. So obviously it's gonna be the same budget as our overall, uh, as our overall campaign, right? Because we only have one ad group. And it's basically telling us estimated monthly clicks, estimated monthly impressions, estimated monthly spend, and estimated average position. So you can adjust it uh, depending on how you're doing. We can save this. And now that's it. Now this thing goes into review. It's that simple. Now we have a campaign. It's going to go into review. Probably it's going to get reviewed. You know, Bing, Microsoft ads are very, very lenient compared to some of these other networks. And so you're going to have a lot more success with Microsoft ads and all that. Uh, as opposed to, you know, some of these other, you know, like Facebook, which is a lot more strict. And so I really like it. I really do. I, I run it from time to time. And so we have this campaign that's going to go into approval and it's probably going to get approved like 
you know, in a few hours. So that's why I want to pause it real quick. And so that is how you do it, right? It, it took me like five to 10 minutes to set it up. Of course, I do recommend at least having a domain, right? Because it's just not going to look professional that mb103.com, nobody's going to click on it. Or you, 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 you're, you're going to get a couple of clicks, but it's not going to be uh, up to the, the maximum potential, okay? So that, that is something to keep in mind. And uh, you may also want to create maybe another landing page if you want to try something else, uh, because this is probably not the best landing page. As I've seen a lot, it's a very short landing page. So don't be surprised if it doesn't really sell. Let's see, are there any other landing pages? No, it's only one landing page. Sometimes, the, sometimes they have multiple landing pages. So that is just my advice. You're free to do what you want. And right now I want to show you a couple of other products that you can uh, advertise on Bing Ads just so that you have um, you know, a variety of different offers you can try. Another product that you can do is something called the Copper Zen Socks. This is blood circulation and helps uh, relieve tired feet and legs. Enjoy greater comfort with a pair of Copper Zen compression socks. And so they allow search. You can basically open the landing page and so you can see that this is a much... Uh, much nicer, much higher quality landing page. And so if you link directly to this, uh, I'm pretty sure you're not going to have a problem on Bing ads because uh, Bing ads, uh, they're, you know, they're pretty flexible too. And this is a really nice landing page. Look at this landing page. This is a professionally done, high quality landing page. So you can basically create an ad in five to 10 minutes, advertise it. They even have a video, uh, testimonials, all kinds, of, all, all kinds of great things. And you're getting a... Uh, you are getting $32 per lead. So this is fine. This is absolutely fine. Another one you can do is uh, HMA VPN service, which is basically they allow search. You have to read the, you have, you basically have to read the, the description. No bidding on HMA on any variations of misspelling. So don't bid on this keyword. Bid on things like, you know, VPN service, uh, secure my internet, browse safely, browse secure, securely. There's a lot of other keywords you can bid on. You just have to be a little bit creative. That's okay if you're not bidding on this. That's absolutely fine. They don't allow it, so don't, don't bid on it. And the landing page, probably, let's uh, let's take a look at this landing page. I, I hope it looks uh, relatively professional because this is a well-known product. And so look at this. This is a legit landing page. It's not, you know, it's not as long as the previous one, but it's a good landing page. You can you can see all the features. They have some, you can basically click on this and then it's going to open another page. And this is a legit site, legit product. You know, this is a very good offer and it's it's suitable for advertising on Bing ads on that kind of platform. So this is another offer you can try out. Uh, the next offer I want to show you is Envato Elements. I've talked about this before. Legit offer. If you haven't tried, definitely try it out. Again, it says no brand bidding. All search marketing is bound by overall campaign rules and restrictions. So don't bid on, on brand bidding. You can bid on things like uh, perfect theme, you know, themes, photo, fonts, graphic, you know, combinations of these keywords, right? You can bid on things like WordPress themes, WordPress plugins, WordPress graphic, uh, WordPress design, WordPress, you know, templates. There's so many things you can bid on. And, you know, it says that no brand bidding. So that means you cannot brand on Envato Elements, which is absolutely fine. And last but not least, I wanted to show you this other one, Neck Relax Ecom product. And this actually looks like uh, it's made by the same company as our main offer, right? That pillow. And this is the Neck Relax and we can open the landing page and they allow searches all good. So you can, you can, you can bid on it. And this is what the landing page. And in this case, the landing page is a little bit longer. They show it. Uh, you can buy it in the official store. This product is not available on Amazon or eBay. Perfect. That means they have to buy here. They're not going to go out on, you know, Amazon and eBay and buy it there. And you can also build the link and 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 do the same process as I talked about uh, with with the first offer that we, that we did. We just did in uh, in this video. And so, does your neck and upper back hurt? What causes cervical pain and how to fix it? All kinds of um, things, right? And you're getting how much are you getting? Forty dollars per lead. This is, again, very, very suitable for search marketing where you're going to be bidding on a dollar per click, two dollars per click, uh, probably not two dollars per click, but maybe dollar fifty, maybe even less, right? We're doing Bing. So maybe you're going to be bidding on, you know, 75 cents per click, dollar per click. And so you can run a lot of offers. This is just, you know, a sample of offers you can promote. And, you know, honestly, this is one of the easiest ways of getting started because Bing is very, very flexible and you can promote this high you know, high kind of, you know, high price, uh, high, you know, high offer, 
uh, high offer products, right? Offers that pay you, you know, a decent a decent amount of money as opposed to like $2 surveys and sweepstakes and all that. Don't get me wrong. Those offers have their place too. But this is, for me, you know, as far as I'm concerned, this is a really easy way to kind of get started with Max Bounty and start promoting offers that you're going to make $40 per lead. And that means you're, you have a lot more flexibility. You can bid on keywords that cost a lot, uh, you know, that cost like $2, even $3 sometimes, because you know that if you have one sale, you, you could spend $40 and break even. And so this is something I recommend. Definitely go into Max Bounty or, you know, another network you're a member of. Go into e-commerce. And this is where you're going to find the majority of the, of the offers sort by CPA rate. Do not promote offers that are like less than $40 or $30. That is my suggestion. And take a look at their landing page. Take a look at their uh, terms and conditions, what they allow, what they don't allow, and just go from there. All right, guys. So this is kind of what I wanted to talk about in the video. I hope you've gotten some value from this video. I hope you've learned something. If you enjoyed this video, definitely smash that like button. Leave a question or comment below, and I will be happy to get back to you. And if you're interested in similar videos about making money online, promoting things on Max Bounty, CPA marketing, affiliate marketing, or anything related to that, definitely subscribe to the channel. Click the notification button, and I will see you in the next video.